Hello guys, hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you'll be watching this very video from. And I want to use this medium yes to apologize to many of you. I know you must have been wondering why I will not posting video. Yeah, that was because we traveled and for some reason we decided not to make videos. We wanted to take a break and rest, but we are back fully and in case you are wondering where is my sister, yes, she's not around for now, but hopefully in our next video she will be available. So, yeah, two things actually make me to make this video. First of all, is the way those immigration officers, those officials, those officials in Matala Mohammed Airport, the way they treat people. Secondly, is a Kenyan Airway. I don't know. If that is how their service, how they are treating their customers, but for me, that the experience I got from them is nothing to write home all about. So, what happened? So, we are supposed to to come back from our vacation and the dates, yeah. So, we decide on that very day, yes, on that very day, it was raining very, very heavily, and we we decide to leave on time. Yeah, we decide to leave on time. One to beat the Aja traffic and Third Milan Bridge traffic. Even though we we got caught up on the traffic, and we spent almost four hours in Aja traffic. Then getting to Third Milan Bridge, we spent another hours in the traffic. As in like that Lagos traffic, um, Lagos traffic. Done on as in it done it on level. So the heavy rain and the traffic, everything we were like we are tired and stressed up. So by the time we got to the airport, uh you know that cars are not allowed inside, so we drop at the entrance, so we walk our way into the airport with the rain everything our clothes were wet. Now getting inside the airport we we're looking for where Kenyan Airways are in like where they check people so that we start going going inside and all those that getting there we didn't see them. So we have to ask some officials. Yeah, my, my brother went to ask some officials that we are Kenyan every office and they directed us. We went there and we asked them that our plane was supposed to depart today, what is going on? And they told us that no, it, it, it will not go that day again, rather it will be the next day. And like, what? So that means the plane will not leave that day, it will leave the next day. And it didn't occur to you to test your passenger that, look, the plane will not be leaving today for some reasons, rather it will be tomorrow. And we stress ourselves, we enter the rain, the traffic and everything. And you are telling us this why they didn't say anything they just say sorry 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 and we said okay when is the plane going to leave the tomorrow they said uh, around 3 a.m yes around 3 a.m we, we calculated we checked we said that ah we don't want to meet that traffic again we don't want to stress ourselves so we have to stay in the airport and we stayed in the airport no sleep nothing nothing we're just moving around because i know the worst thing that can happen to anybody is when you are in the airport and you miss your flight, now a big problem. So we we stayed 3 a.m. We are waiting for these people to come and start checking. They didn't check as in like nothing. We are there for, for I think they start checking around around five. Yeah, they start checking around five. We are so tired, my clothes were wet. In fact, everything dried on, on me. And I start checking. Finally, they check and everything, everything, everything. And we proceed. Now we get to the police. Police, yes, they checked our passport and everything. They, they, they gave it to us. We proceed to the immigration. Now, getting to the immigration, that is when the problem started for me. Do I, I, I was angry at Kenyan and Airway people. Why didn't they test? Why didn't they I mean, send messages to their passengers that this plane will not leave today? So that at least that stress, for just their 
relax as in like you know go enter rain you know go enter rain secondly the traffic will not even make the traffic because we left on time for us to pick the traffic but because of the rain definitely the traffic channels so that is it that was my own anger so i was angry then another thing they told us 3 a.m the plane will leave them they were supposed to start checking by let's say by by one and even three o'clock they haven't even started checking till up until uh, five so all those things i was like angry my sister was angry but okay that's fine so we proceed to the immigration getting to the immigration i mean they have about um, four officers yes four officers they're checking one man came in i don't know if is the is the boss as in is the immigration officer's boss or because he was a mufti no clue no uniform on him he just came in and was like you 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 go like this you 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 go like this you you go like this me and my sister should stay behind and some other person at our back so we stayed and we were waiting so and he left so when my sister noticed that the one counter is free she went there and the immigration officer attended to her he didn't even he didn't ask her to wait he attended to her and the man came in that is the the officer on mufti and was like hey why did you go i told you to wait blah 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 blah, blah. and the other and the immigration officer that was attending to to her told him that uh, no problem is because the counter is free that is why she went and the man said no i gave him an instruction she wasn't supposed to go there she wasn't supposed to come to you and she was supposed to wait no you will stay here today stop attending to her you will stay here i was like hey and i told myself to calm down she just would let us back here and the man said no okay you follow me that is me i followed him and he demanded for my passport i gave him and he flip 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 and just left the passport without saying anything for about two minutes i was waiting for this man to say something or stamp the passport and give me nothing he wanted to start attending to another um another person and i said sir my passport what what is happening and he said hey you where are you going i said i'm going to uae dubai and he said okay we're going to what are you doing there? I said, who are you working for? I said, what is the person's name? I said, what is the person working? All this question. I answered him very well. And he said, eh, hey. he dropped my passport. He left me there and attend to another person. It was me that told him that, sir, you are not true with me. And he said, yes, I know that this is your story. That's what I told him. That that he didn't believe it i said how what do you mean you didn't believe what is that that you didn't believe or what are you saying and he said my story that is what i'm doing and everything i didn't believe i said ah, sir you don't have any problem if that is the problem open the passport everything is there you will see it he said no i don't believe you yeah, I think I don't know what you guys are going there to do in Dubai. Hey, moreover, you are you are, you, you, you are too young for only you to be there. I said, no, it's me and this is my sister that you, you asked to wait. And moreover, I am not too young anything. I think you saw my age in the passport. So what is young guys? He said, I know what you are doing. I said, sir, what I'm doing is there in the passport. Please, or what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say that I didn't say? Or what what did I say that I'm not supposed to say? I don't understand. He said, okay, you know they come off for here. I say, ah, ah, oh my God, I don't understand. Wait till they... So, it's okay for my information. Now, if I want to leave here, that is, if I want to enter that plane, if I want to follow the plane, like I drop 2K. I'm like, ah, ah. 2k sir 2k for what for what why he said he have said it in fact he will double it to 5k if i make noise again i said okay sir no problem but i want to know what is the reason what did i do that will make me to drop what is it 
And they said, make I no shout for them. Make I no shout for them. I, be, I won't shout for them. If I shout for them, I said, no, I'm not shouting. I'm, I'm confused. He said, okay, since you are confused, or you call your boss. I said, which boss? The one that, he said, the one I'm working in Dubai. He wants to speak with the person. I said, ah, ah, sir. Is it me that's supposed to call my boss? Okay, fine. I will call, but before I call, what will I tell my boss? Like, if I call and I say, what will I tell her? I mean, at least make sure, no, be like, say, wait, wait till I go tell her. And if I call her, what will I tell her? And they say, you never did it. I say, ah, so tell me now. First, you said I should, I should drop 2K from 2K to 5K from 5K to, I don't understand. They say, hey, I should stop shouting now. So that all these other people will not think I see. I say, I understand. I'm not shouting, but I want to know. He said, you are proving stubborn. I said, I'm not proving stubborn, I just want to know. Because the reason why I, I was asking, no, I have to know everything. It's not today that I started traveling, traveling that all these things, you now want to come and start uh, intimidating me or something. No, you know, go. as far as you know, go fear happen. You know, it, it no fear happen. And the man was like, yeah, shall I say, if, uh, even the two k or the five k or whatever, I don't have nothing. In fact, the last one I had, I used to pay for over luggage. That means cheap, but I don't get cheap for here when I did. Okay, day time, and it was like, hmm. so how are you going to be? I said, sir, I don't know. I don't know. As far as I have, uh, I've told you, ask me question, and I answer the question, question, and. If you check the password, you see that whatever I answered actually tallied with what was what is written on the passport. So I don't know. All this one I don't understand. He said so one um immigration officer came and was like, What is happening? And he said that the man collected my passport from him and I followed him because I bet I know one here to receive the passport will gone disappear. And so followed the man and then the man asked me question and the same question i answered and he gave my password to another person again and i followed that one because then that one asked the same question before he stamped the passport they demanded yeah yes they demanded for anything that my resident as my resident permits everything the demand for the id card which i sh i shown them i showed them everything and they said okay they, they stamped the passport then i left but my problem is that first month i didn't be i like i didn't mean i didn't i i, I, I like i know open eye for like i didn't open my eye i'm not uh, i maybe i, I as, as i was asking me those questions and maybe I will, uh, maybe I become like uh, too quiet, too cool, too this. He would have kept me there. So me voicing out, um, asking question, what do you want me to do this? What do you want me to do this? What do you want me to do? I didn't let him to intimidate me. That was where the other officer came, um, because they don't want, maybe they don't want any situation that will involve so many people. He collected the passport. I didn't be maybe i'm not smart enough to answer the question or i'm i'm showing uh, um, um, fear hell fear he would have committed i don't know they would have done or they would purposely or intentionally wanting me to miss my flight i've had so many um stories of how the the delayed people question this 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 this, this and those people miss their flights because of all those uh, things that they that they do do in that airport, uh, it, it's very bad. It's very very bad. Now we proceed. Okay, let me go to my sister because he is he he stopped my sister, and I I I after they stamped my passport, I went back to him and I said, "You said my sister should stay. He said he's attending to to her." After the whole thing, we the stamp has we proceed. Now we get into the entrance inside the plane. So officers, I don't know. I think to the their mobile police 
one immigration officer, I don't know what the other person because that one was not hearing me in as well. And then they stopped us and I saw one making call. He was making call, I was looking at us. So something inside me was telling me that this guy, I think he called those other people or they called him, I don't know. And they stopped and they said, you guys, you guys should come here. And we, we went there and they were asking the same question. Uh, where are you going? Blah, 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 blah. We answered the whole question. And the next thing that they did, they told my sister that you are with Cameroon passport. Do you know that having Cameroon passport, you're not supposed to, to go to go to Dubai through Nigeria? And I was like, eh? So I don't understand why. So all these so people going at the scene, and Nigerian passport go, all those other people, and Nigerian passport they go. You know, they work like that. It, that is a big lie. That isn't true. That one is not true. And it was like, what do you mean? I'm saying yes, because when I was coming in the first time, I as in, to Dubai in the first time, that was 2019. It was Cameroon. I passed through Cameroon, so I don't understand what people are saying now. And the mom was like, eh, eh, eh. See, she now said, besides, I've been in Nigeria for years. Like, you know, go feel, tell me that rubbish with the dry talk now, okay? And the mom was like, mm, okay, I bet Mona they go. Mona they go. So that is how we left. You see, the reason why I, I, I put up this video is just for these um, officers. I mean, the way they behave, most of them, I don't understand. They employ you. They they post you they post you in an office and they give you a specific task to carry on duty and you leave your duty and you start doing something else. It's very very bad. It's very very bad. And and I'm not the only one that maybe is complaining about this. Many people have had so many stories about the way those officers officers behave behave in that international Mohammed airport. They will intentionally want to delay your flight so that you miss the flight. That is what they do. Or if they no fee collect collect what to, to for your hand, they will make sure that they delay your flight so that you no go feel go anywhere we want. It's very very bad. As in like, it's very very bad. It's very very bad the way they treat people. It's very very bad. They need to change. As they need to change something need to be done on those officers then for kenya Airways, i don't have anything for you people because i don't understand why you will why you will change the date of your of flight and it will not occur to you or you not know any need to inform your your passengers that look this flight will not be going today or this flight will not be going this day to be going nothing not you will just keep people quiet you know People will come and they will be some will be stranded because most people leave their states, come to Lagos states to enter flight and all those stress. And just as in as in it was bad, like it was bad. The service very poor. Very, very bad. Very, very bad. So guys, that's all I have to say concerning this. And leave your comments in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like, and also share because we're going to bring more gist, more news, more updates, more videos to you guys. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Bye.